Hi guys, welcome back to the Bargain Tech. Today I'm going to demonstrate the steps which are required to work with the Fires API. So starting from the first thing, uh, like we have to create an API. I have created this API and you can see the status is active. So how we can work on that, I'm going to just discuss this. So what I will do, I will uh, define a name here. So let me uh, define a name like demo here. Uh, and there I can like bargain that have a channel name okay and now here I can define anything like uh, you can define any redirect URL. it should be valid so I like my fires and uh, dot bargain some sort of this and I think it should be fine and description uh, if you want to put otherwise it is not required I am removing this webhooks and I am just uh, what what app permissions are there so profile details you can see your profile there transaction force whatever you have done and order placement historical data and codes and market data so once I uh, click on this uh, create app a app would be created so you can see like a app is created and now what should I do now so it is in the inactive so guys uh, here what we need to do is to copy some variables which are there in this demo market app and on basis of that we are going to use it further for the uh, further steps okay so let me see that there is an app ID I'm just copying these two there okay this is the app ID and the secret ID so these are two uh, variables I am copying here and uh, I am going to just tell you this these are the two I am just removing the secret ID here because I have to in the end I have to remove everything but uh, just for simplicity so uh, there is a confusion which I got to know uh, by doing some R&D and I also contacted Fires also on this but uh, I just told them that uh, maybe because uh, there was an inactive state in my app earlier so i thought like uh, there is some issue and i figured out the issue also and that is a separate story uh, but it is very important like how you should work if there is some system is working uh, so what i did i went to the this fires uh, api platform here and here you can see like uh, there are certain steps uh, they have written here so this, these are all things which I have uh, shown you, it's here and uh, here you can see, yeah, uh, if I go to this Python code. So this is a client ID here, right? Client ID, you have a unique uh, UCC there, client ID, which is provided by Fires once you open the account there. And then there is a secret key, which we just copied and uh, you can see like other steps are there. So you have just need to copy this whole hand you have to install this pip install fires api uh, dot v2 and i can show this also uh, so that's not the issue then how to do it because uh, many of the viewers may be uh, new to this platform and uh, so let me uh, show you from the beginning okay uh, so I will be copying some files uh, just for the simplicity to make the video faster. Okay, so let me do this So what I'm going to do I'm going to come into here and I am doing bargain buyers demo this is something and uh, What I'm doing is Okay now uh, uh, now, most importantly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a VNV that is virtual environment here. So, a virtual environment I want to create here. So you can see like a folder is being created here. Okay. Uh, the good thing is about this is like if I need to install my libraries uh, through pip, I want them to install uh, in this repo only right not it should be global so that's that's the reason i have created this v in environment here okay uh, so what i'm going to do now uh, next my step is 
uh, so I should create uh, I should activate sorry this uh, uh, this environment right so there is a command there uh, let me try it like this is and there is folder inside scripts and that is activate okay now you can see like uh, our virtual environment is being uh, successfully we are in our virtual environment right now i'm going to uh, just copy this and i'm going to install this okay and this is okay, some issue i guess it's not copied copy okay so it has installed okay now next thing what i need to do uh, i'm going to go into this uh, here right and in this repo uh, i'm going to create a file which i've already created so that's not a thing just i want to show you like how you should uh, do this and here you can have a file like demo so i have created a similar uh, i mean a similar uh, virtual environment in which i was working earlier so i'm going to take you directly there right in the same way so here you can see like here is the same i was doing some rnd here and i'm going to just demonstrate it here okay uh, let me show you the that folder also just for simplicity yeah so you can see like there is a same and here i have two files like one is for demo uh, this is where i got my uh, authenticate uh, authentication code uh, and from this i get the access token so so that is the how i, I planned so what was the thing i was saying earlier like i when i was using this so here it is a client id here and this is secret key but when you go to node here it is very simple it's the app id right so on the basis of app id you can get the auth code and in the python they are saying like they you need the client id and you need the secret key okay that's fine so uh it, this means that in their inbuilt library uh then their methods they have made two functions there right which can work on either client id secret ID, uh, secret key or on the uh or on the app id so uh, it was not working with the this client id okay i tried it for two three days i mean not uh, some some time i come and i think a new thought about this how to do it and then uh, again a failure so what i did later i just went to node and i followed these steps and i was able to generate the auth code so then i uh, got the all the issue like the client id which is uh, here it's not a client id it's the app id so this is uh, this is what i uh, found and then what i did uh, let's see you can see here the functions are there it's a client id i'm going to run it with the app id so this is my app id so um it's a variable one so here it's just a variable so i can write anything here so in client id i'm putting this and Here is my secret key and I'm removing this because this is going to give some error and I need a redirect URL. So this URL, how you're going to get is, uh, I think it is here. Yeah. So I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to just paste it here. Okay. Now it should work. Like it should not give any issues. So let me go here and uh, in the scene, I'm going to just, I have this and I think I have it or not. Let me just take this. I just need to copy this. Okay. And this I need to hit here. 
so you can see now like you are getting this and uh, this, this is a client id right you continue like something i have to accept it continue and now i will get this so what is the crux here you need to see like there is a auth code here so you need to just copy it copy it i will say like complete copy whole and now i what i'm going to do i'm going to put it here will remove the unwanted data here also simple control a also will come do the same thing and what next once i have a auth code okay uh next for the simplicity i put made it uh, much better just because uh, i am not uh, actively working on this so i am making it a something which is easily understandable and uh, which is easy to use so here i have written so much of code here so i'm just going to show you like this is the same code uh, you can find it here so similar kind of code it is here and uh, you have to just uh, have some authorizations and some imports here so same i am doing here so nothing uh, complex so here is something which uh, i am going to uh, do is like i am going to just comment this code because i need the access token here okay so control shift k i and here what i will do i will remove this auth code because it is the earlier one right let me see how much it is left okay i think and this is last oh, so and here i'm going to paste if it is correctly pasted okay this is the auth code and i'm now saving it and i'm going to run it okay so there is same please provide the sft hash of FID app secret key okay there is some issue here this is there is some issue like what is this yeah this this uh, because the issue here is very simple uh, like this is all giving me the reference of the old one so i'm going to delete it okay and i'm going to save it and i'm going to take it from here okay control c and here access to open control v that's the reason it should work now it's closing it because every time it's getting open so here you can see like access token is there so i'm just going to copy it from here very simple and now i'm going to place it i'm just going to comment this thing now because this is not required now and what i'm going to do here is just control k right and here it i'm opening it control shift k right this access access token i need to remove okay same way it's going to take some amount of okay that would be might be easy more now i have this access token and once i have yeah so once i have an access token here i'm going to again run this now you can see this is i'm getting something which i have uh i mean this this is an epoch time uh, which i am getting here so i'm going to show you like uh, what all the commands i have run uh so now i have some logs here in logs i am getting each and everything uh, which i need, like profile is there funds is there so there are so many things here so uh, whatever call i'm doing to the fires api so i'm getting it somewhere right in the logs so if i open here logs these are the previous logs i'm just going to close it and i'm going to show you 
step uh, here okay so this is the logs i'm getting uh, for the simplicity i'm just removing it because uh, it should be clear and uh, once i'm going to run it and again you can see like how it is happening so i think it is executed again now you can see 8 kb so here are the different different things like historical data is coming for nifty future and funds also file also everything and quotes also you can get right and similarly you can get for the quotes for the so similarly the api is, is a very simple part here but you are need to understand that there are few things which is not there uh, mostly the, the open interest data and uh, i don't know like uh, right now like how much how many hits i can have there so just for uh, education purpose uh, one can understand like how to uh, do something related to api and if even for the professionals they can use uh, i mean a lot of of things can be done through here or even if even the open interest data is not there so still there you can do a lot of uh, coding there and find out like trend based and trading and, and it, uh, range based so so guys that's it for this video and if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the bargain tech for more updates